I want to turn it over to our mom of the regiment, Raquel. She is back with more stories, and this one is called, I love it, Big Sister Will Give It To You Straight. You're going to love this. This one is close to my heart, she says. For the sake of identity, I'll be changing the names for the story. Fair enough. I am the oldest child in my home, the big sister, five years older than my brother. Quite frankly, it sucked being the oldest sibling sometimes, especially being public schooled. I was never in the same school as my siblings, and it made us rather estranged in a way because we only saw each other at mealtimes. It's kind of the whole gambit of public school, in case you didn't notice. Yeah. Nevertheless, I got along with my brother, and he would call me when I went off to college, and he was just starting high school. I don't know about all the trouble he got into during those years, but I know enough. During his senior year of high school, I got a phone call from him telling me about a girl that was new in town. It wasn't long before they were dating and talking about getting married. I was worried about this development because I had never met this girl before, and I began to notice a change in his demeanor when he would call. It's like it wasn't himself, or that he was beginning to change his life priorities at a very fast pace. I hoped that this girl was just another flavor of the week, and that he would move on with graduation on the horizon. Alas, it was not to be. Mm. Her family was a military family. Father retired from the chair force. He was so pro-military and had convinced his daughter to join the Navy. She, in turn, convinced my brother to join the Navy, claiming that they could be stationed together. Oh my god! That never fucking happens. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Keep going. Yeah. All right. I probably should have handled it differently because I laughed in his face <laughs> and said, if you think you're going to be able to see her, it's a pipe dream. His girlfriend, Tilly, got her way and he eventually joined the Navy. When I heard this news, I was devastated. It was 2005 and the mess in the Middle East was still hot and the U.S. was deploying troops. I thought maybe he had joined the Navy. He might be spared from deployment, but I was so wrong. Military wasted no time after he signed his paperwork. He was immediately sent to boot and then a school and then to B school. And I don't know what any of that means, A school and B school. All the while, this girlfriend of his somehow was able to get out of the Navy while he was in A school due to mental instability. Well, over half of liberal women under 30 have a mental disorder. So there you go. Hmm. What the hell? I didn't even know that was a thing. You can get out of the military by seeing a shrink and telling them you're mentally struggling. Well, aren't we all mentally struggling with something, especially those in the military? Uh, Hello, I can die at any time, but don't worry. That isn't weighing on my psyche at all. Moving on. Mm. (laughs) I went home to visit my parents while my brother was at boot, and I remember I had called him and told him that this woman was not a good match for him. She was far too immature. Tilly was there at the house visiting my parents, not exactly sure why. I remember when she was leaving to go home, I walked her out to the front door and had a very frank conversation with her about how I didn't think she was good for my brother. They didn't have anything in common, and that I thought their relationship was going to cause an emotional train wreck for the both of them. In the nicest way possible, I was trying to tell her to piss off. Ah, okay. Needless to say, she left upset, but I didn't hear from my brother until he was in Florida eight weeks later for more training. When I found out my brother was going to be in Florida, I immediately called my sister, who lived there, near where he was going to be training. She was only a year older than him, so they were much closer. She told me that she would do what she could to get our brother to see that Tilly wasn't good for him. Tilly flew out to see my brother while he was in training in Florida. It's like she always shows up at the place where she's least welcome. My brother was sent home for R&R for Christmas and was to be deployed a week later. Well, at Christmas, when he was home, that is when he decided to tell the family that he and Tilly had eloped. Oh, my God. And had been married since October. Oh, my God. (laughs) Needless to say, we weren't exactly happy. I began to put the pieces together of when it could have happened, and I realized they had done it when she had gone out to see him in Florida. My sister was fit to be tied because the whole time she was trying to get him to see that Tilly wasn't a good match for him, but he didn't say a word and married her anyway and didn't have the balls to tell any of us until Christmas. Wow. As soon as my brother was deployed, Tilly went to set up house on base in San Diego. I'm sure she did. He was gone for nine months. Okay. Came home for a few weeks and was deployed again. Tilly, sadly, had gained quite a bit of weight while he was deployed Hmm. about 50 pounds 
Wow. She called me crying one night when my brother was home and said she didn't know him anymore. And that he was different from when they got married. Where? This is the prepackaged military spouse excuse, just yep. so we're clear. They all use this to try to get at your cash and prizes. It was at this time when I reminded her of our conversation before she decided to go elope with my brother and in the most genuinely sincere way tried to get her to see this coming. What she didn't understand is that when you are deployed, you aren't present and the deployed person does change. I knew my brother had a wild streak in him and that he would most definitely take part in any shenanigans, mostly drinking and partying with his bros. I knew this and related to Tilly before she married my brother, but she didn't want to listen or see that I was trying to protect the both of them from a very messy situation. Well, hang on. So if she gained 50 pounds, how is she still in the Navy? She's not. Oh. Remember, she, she psyoped out. Oh, she psyoped. Okay. Yeah. I don't know anyone that comes home totally the same person. I think you can agree with that. Not only that, they were 18 when they eloped. My brother came home from his second deployment to divorce papers. And in all honesty, I do think that Tilly wanted to stay married to my brother, or at least to try. But as soon as Tilly mentioned divorce, my brother didn't need any convincing to sign the paperwork. He was deployed three more times over the course of his four years, being home a total of just a few months. Yep. Once he was done with his four years, he was ready to be out. I don't know what kind of missions he was sent on. He doesn't talk about it a whole lot. I know he came home with more physical scars than he had before, and that he was stationed in a hot zone. Please forgive my ignorance. I never realized the Navy was so utilized. Well, it all depends upon what his job was, what, yeah. what his rating was in the Navy. Exactly. Here's the kicker. Uh -huh. Because Tilly's dad is retired Chair Force, he knew how to make my brother's life even more difficult. He coached her on how to file certain paperwork informing them of the divorce and the status change of their relationship from married to divorced and get him into trouble with his commanding officers. I didn't even know you could do that, especially while you're deployed. Well, you, you can do that because well, for, it all depends upon who the first shirt is. Like Oof. if. If they had a guy sitting there that was similar to me, he'd be like, "Yeah, there's no kids involved. Fuck that fat bitch. Damn. Oof. I mean, I, I've run interference, top cover for so many soldiers. I even had an ex-wife uh, excommunicated from the unit. and had I remember that story. I yeah. had her trespass never to return. Good. I, I sent a memo to her house. Bye-bye. Oh, they don't deserve any anything better. How do you expect soldiers in active duty that aren't even in the country to file paperwork in order to defend yourself against your accuser back in the States, and you don't even know when you'll be back? It's called the Soldier Sailor Act, to be honest with you. So, Again, I was very naive and ignorant at the time. I remember my parents getting all kinds of paperwork filed for him so he would stay out of whatever trouble she was trying to get him into. There's really nothing that she could do to him. Yeah. Well, luckily, the divorce was final within a few short months until he moved out by the time he came home from his third deployment. No kids, and they were both young enough to start over. She moved back east, and we haven't heard from her again. Oh, don't worry. If she wanted you to hear from her, you'd hear her coming. She keeps gaining weight that fast. Yeah. Um, I was going to say, I mean, you don't, it's really hard to like un unweigh 50 pounds. She gained 50 pounds. She pulled the pin like, on the fat grenade. In like a year and nine months, she gained 50 pounds? No, it's it's common. That happens all the time. But how? Uh, uh, double fist to Tourette's to the elbow. She's not even drinking age yet. Fuck. There's a reason. Wow. Are they called wamalos? I, I, I just got Or that. depend upon a pusses. Depend upon a pie. Yep. <laughs> That's what happens. He is lucky he didn't slip one by the goalie with her. No kidding, man. Wow. Oh, my God. He'd be hooked to that forever. Oh, that would be a train wreck of epic proportions. I think, no, the, I, uh, I think the easiest way someone can gain 50 pounds in that amount of time is eating more mint chocolate chip ice cream than evil pop. That's true. Well, or I, a combination with alcohol, too. Well, on one uh, a couple of Tuesdays back, Steve comes over before we, the show, and we usually get Mediterranean food, right? Of, of course, he boffs, right? And we're yeah, we're driving yes. down there, and we turn the corner, and there's this pick the meat off the bone wamalo <laughs> walk, and she had like one tooth that was like sticking out oh, horizontal, God. and like red trash. And Steve really like he pulls over, and he's just like, I can't believe somebody put their penis in that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I laughed all the way to the restaurant. I've, but I've actually, had that thought. We've all had it. We've yeah. all seen these women out in public at places, and we're just like, and they've got kids in tow, and you're like, somebody had to fuck that. 
Yeah, but the funny part is wow. he, he literally like he pulls over. He's like, "Oh my god, I can't do this. <laughs> I can't move it. <laughs> Why?" It was so fucking funny, man. I, I mean, it, uh, what? Why? Why? Some, I mean, sometimes when you fall on the anchor, the anchor falls on you. Uh, <laughs> drag you straight to the bottom of the Marianas Trench, man. Yeah, I don't get it. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat gazer box.